Our government, uh, since it took the office one year ago, has been undertaking a series of reforms, such as national reconciliations with all political parties and prevalence of peace with most of the armed ethnic groups and also florist uh, the multi-party democratic system and also we have enhancing the international cooperations also holding the free and fair by elections and so on so our intention uh, it may be called we stress on the continuations of these reformations uh, to the remote areas to every villages and every persons uh, ensuring that we would improve our health and education as well as in social issues according to our people-centered strategy adopted by the government last month. Okay, next steps may be the improvement in socio-economy status of our country and the development of human resources. ILO, with cooperation with our government, could establish decent working conditions in Myanmar. That is, improving the working and living conditions of our workers, as well as their competitiveness. Our cooperation with ILO is very fine now, uh, much different from the past uh, one or two decades, when we neglect each other at the time. But since 2002, we have more communications between ILO and Myanmar which develops into connections on 2007 after signing supplemental understanding. And then when we are building those connections to become trust, the governing body chairman, Mr. Greg Vines, and GP members pay visit to our country. And that is a, a feature that trust begets trust. So nowadays, the relations between ILO and Myanmar is reveling everywhere. Uh, everybody should recognize that we have already changed ourselves. And I would like to ask any organizations to see from the different perspective from the past. That's, thank you.